Hi, welcome to Carolina Crafting. I'm Jackie Jens. Today we're at the Destiny Alpaca Farm and I've already made a friend for life. Let's go see what's happening with the rest of the alpaca. So soft. Do I just, smell like a dog? Just a, little bit of, <laughs> just a little bit of information. Alpacas normally don't like to be petted on the head. You can see she flinches. Yeah, she from, flinches, but she didn't mind But her neck. it's her eyes. Right. Being, but uh, you can pet them anywhere else. They even like to go nose to nose. You know, she's sweet as can be. But they just, you know, everybody wants to pet them like a dog. Yeah. And you can see it, and they all are that way. They don't like to be touched You're up so close. Sweet. They don't want their hair do must up. <laughs> That's right. Or all the, the extra little tidbits you Kathy's got Kathy's going to show you the fleece. When you actually <gasps> touch an alpaca. Um, th yeah, there, there you go. Yeah. You can see the difference. This has been here, sun affected by UVA light. Oh, wow. Um, this is, and touch this here. Come in and feel that. That's her actual color. Ooh. Her yarns would be f like this color. Mm. So she gets her uh, winter fur now yes. under cover. And mm -hmm. then when when will you uh, look up, you get a picture of this, Ron? <laughs> The, she loves me. This <laughs> 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 such a good one. But then come spring, mm -hmm. early spring, She's late hot. spring, mid, mid spring, mm -hmm. About around tax time. Oh, well, that's good to know. <laughs> that's fish or the alpacas. Those are our two chores. So in then, April. and this comes, come come, just, just try to share it like a sheep and a, yes. she, and a sheep. She gets t a total buzz cut. Yeah, uh -huh. Uh -huh. just like a sheep. It's so sweet. Now she, this is um, the gray comes in like six different colors. Wow. And did you see her flinch a little bit when I yeah. touched her here? Because I did a light touch. If you touch them, touch them good. Otherwise, it's a tickle, and they go. Oh. <laughs> And how many different color? Uh, Twenty-two different natural colors, and then a few variations. Do you call it fiber or fur? Fiber. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're so sweet. You can yeah. see um, out in the pasture out there. We've got a black and white one. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. she's, cool. she's really. And a redhead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you got a blonde, yes. a brunette, and a redhead yes. right here. Uh -huh. Right here. So what? Us. What made you? What made you do this? <laughs> fell in love with them. I thought they were the most gorgeous creature I've ever seen. Um, I guess it's those big eyes. I think so. The, the big look, eyes look at this. Yeah. I mean, this is a, she could pop in your pocket if she could. Yeah. Sure, Ron, go up the car door. Yeah. <laughs> it, we've got the individual fingers. Oh, those are called yeah. fingers of fiber. Those are little bundles. And the heavy duty crimp in there. And, it's, and oh. you could feel the softness in there. She's. She um, was just in her first show. She was the youngest one there, and she took third place out of ten. Oh, wow. Out of ten. And she was a baby in the class, so we That's were really a, excited about her. That, it's turning cold as, as people see us bundled up today. Do you have to do anything special when it gets They cold? love it, this. Yeah. Except for the newborn up there. They've got little coats on, because when they're born, they only have you know, just Aww, such a little bit. I can't wait to see that one. Feel her. I'll show you. They only have one set of teeth in front. Oh. They have a palate. See, just that bottom. Oops. Oh, yeah. Look at problem. that. Huh. So, you know, they really don't have any protection from that's biting. No, it would, now, it would have, hurt you if they didn't nip you. No, right. they have molars back here that they chew, you know, on top and bottom, and their feet are soft padded like a dog's foot. Oh. She's standing on my foot right now. <laughs> yeah, she is. <laughs> Let's see if I can get a foot. So, a they yeah. free range out here? They, you feed them anything uh, special? Yes, there is an alpaca um, um, vitamin mineral supplement much. that we give them. It comes Could in a grain product. All right, let's show your foot. We give about three quarters of a pound a day to them. It's just padded like oh. a dog's foot, yeah. like the almost like the heel of your own foot. And they've got two toenails. That's part of their foot. Those aren't claws. Those are just toenails and part of their toes. Mm. And we trim them about every other month. Wow. It sounds scary, but it's a very easy thing to do. They're very passive animals, mm. so I don't yeah. see. Very gentle. They're very good. gentle. This girl's been bred, and she's now a little skittish around us. <laughs> her hormones are telling her to protect herself and yeah, her it's unborn okay. baby. So, so after sharing, we've got all these bags of delicious soft fiber Ooh. in 22 different colors. You can take color A and blend it with color C and kind of create a new color mm -hmm. or a heathered color mm -hmm. um, that are really, really popular. Um, <laughs> again, what, what they look on the outside is nothing like, possibly nothing like what right. they look on the inside. And one, 
one alpaca will be one bag, or do they have more than one bag? Well, we'll bags. get one bag of prime or first. Mm -hmm. This is going to be her blanket area. Mm -hmm. This is her longest fiber, and it's the softest. This will go in the yarns, things that you want to wear around your neck, mm -hmm. on your face, that sort of thing. Her her hip back here and her shoulder isn't quite as Decker. long. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it's a little bit shorter. That would go e either into felting projects mm -hmm. or socks. Ooh, and then, they'd be warm socks. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> we've got ours on. We wear them all winter long. Um, the the lower the legs are a little bit coarser. The belly is very coarse, and it gets real dirty from laying in the mm -hmm. debris and whatnot. So those are called thirds, and those are used. Um, they can be used for felting for rugs. Um, it's a real hard, durable um, product. So do, do you card it like you do? Mm -hmm. ah. The carding machine. Skirt we have to go. Let's go. I'm cold. Let's go oh, <laughs> to the we next step. <laughs> yes. okay. All right. This is raw fleece right off the animal. And this is Azalea that you just had a yes, hold of. Yes, you were just like. <laughs> this is her fleece. Remember, she was born this color. She oh. was blonde, and then she turned gray. That She's hotly and gray. Okay. So this is going to be a neat fleece, too. Yeah. The only carding I've ever seen is that. The, the hand one. Yeah. That'll build your muscles and make you nice and strong. <laughs> Don't need that. I like this one. Okay, <laughs> this one's going to be a little bit easier. What we're going to do is feed the fiber in through here. The, the little brushes are going to pick it up and pull it through onto the carter. It's a little bit slow and easy. We're going to crank it. That's what's going to turn these two drums. And it'll pull it gently from your this fingers. Some, for, uh, fleece already on there. Will that, yes. That'll blend in with that. That's going to add a lot of interest, I think, to it. Now, if we wanted just azalea mm -hmm. on here, we could take um, we could take all these little pieces off. You can see there's a little ridge right here. Oh, yeah. And what, what we would do at that point is just gently lift this off. Uh -huh. And then, see, this is product that's already been carded. So that's just ready ready to mm -hmm. use for somebody to spin. It could either be spun or felted either way. Mm -hmm. If it's going to be um, spun, your spinning wheel basically will take it into long drafts and then start putting the twist into it. Oh wow! And that's really pretty cool. That's so cool. Look at that. Look yeah, at that. it's kind of <laughs> almost a calico, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Oh wow! And so you'd ply um, one strand, then you'd ply a second strand of yarn, and possibly a third if you wanted to do a three ply yarn, um, and then ply them together, and that gives you your strength. And as they relax a little bit onto the next strand that mm -hmm. they've been plied with, that gives you your yarn and your strength in it. Wow. But that would be cool yarn. Yeah, yeah that, that would, would be. be. <laughs> but so it's sometimes fun to add Yeah, it would be, because you never fiber. know what you're going to yeah, get. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're going to put that in there, let it, hold it gently in your fingers like this, and let, as you turn the crank, let it pull, but don't stick your fingers way okay. in there. It won't hurt you. It might scratch I'm going to pull it this way or that way? Um, pull it away from you. Up and pull it. This way. Oh, yeah. There the other way. Other way? Yeah. 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 There you go, like that. Yeah, I'm trying to put my fingers in here. No, nope, don't worry. Hold, hold, don't let too much go through or it will um, clog up the work, so to speak. And you'll notice just a little bit will start to come through here. It'll take a little while. You can go ahead and pull it, crank and crank and crank this one. There you go. That's it. Ooh. Crank it, crank it, crank it. Every now and then you'll feel a little bit go through. Oh, I see some of the light. Mm -hmm. And you'll start to see this three tone disappear and, and um, azaleas start to come through there. That's it. I love it. Yeah, it's so cool. Okay, we've got it. All right. So now we got that. Should we pull a little bit of that off yeah. now and see what we find a nice like? color? Here. There's That's the area where okay. we're gonna pull it right off. And there's there's a lot of different ways to, to pull them off. But this is gonna give us just a little bit. And this hasn't only been carded lightly once. Yes. So, so how how long would you have you done? You can actually alpaca is a very um, fiber that you need to really be kind of gentle with. Mm -hmm. So maybe three up to three times going through here, and each time is going to take some of the. See that's kind of clumped yes. up just a little bit there. That's so. my work. <laughs> <laughs> but there it is, lighter than oh, air, wow. Ooh, and yeah. very very warm because alpaca is. It's a hollow fiber, or mm -hmm. at least semi-hollow, and they say it's up to eight times warmer than wool on an ounce-for-ounce ounce basis. Wow. It doesn't have the scale in it that wool does. It creates that kind of itchiness. Mm -hmm. yeah, it does yeah. have some scale, and some alpaca has more scale than others, but uh, fiber to fiber, alpaca has a lot less scale. Um, wool stinks when it, when it gets wet. Does alpaca stink? Do you know stink? why? Because it's got that lanolin, lanolin, which traps the odors in there. Alpaca has no lanolin. So, but this is right off the animal. 
There's no smell at all. No. Mm -mm. Oh, wow. Now, uh, maybe a little dust, because they do yeah. roll. Oh, yeah, though. But this has not been washed at all, whereas if this were wool, I wouldn't have asked you to s to smell it. <laughs> you and <laughs> no. I would be passed out on the floor. No, that would, They'd probably would notice it in the room, yeah. too. No, so this is a really a, a, an immensely green it's product. Very green, then. Yeah, it's very uh, environmentally friendly. Kathy is going to show me how to felt. Now, we all know how I do a new craft, so this is going to be really fun and interesting. This is going to be great. Yeah. <laughs> this is a fiber that you carted down at the wheel, down at the barn. This is from Azalea. My favorite just little. Love. Yes, your favorite <laughs> little girl. So this is, this is felting 101. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your fiber. The whole clump. The, basically the whole clump and see it's nice and airy and you can kind of stretch it out just a little bit. Oh, there's a little bit of Odessa in oh, there yeah. too. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Okay. This is going to be your coloring book. This is your coloring. This is your crayon. Okay. So you, we want you to stay between the lines. <laughs> I'm okay. not good at that. <laughs> okay. So you're going to take your fiber and kind of fill in all the blanks, and you're going to keep this pressed rather tightly to okay. it so nothing leaks out. And stuff you're going to kind of stuff this. it. Maybe not all of it all at once because yeah, we might not need that much. It's going to make it very fat. Yeah. Spread it out fairly evenly. Kind of stuff it in that little, little cookie cutter. Mm-hmm. There we go. It doesn't have any feet. <laughs> okay. have Do you feet. need a little more feet? All right, let's I add. I can just little. squish some feet in there. Okay. All right. The feet. Well, we can add a little bit but more feet, later. Yeah, Does it look it. like you kind of got it everywhere? It seems like the nose and the feet are always a little bit short. Yeah, there we go. Do we need a little bit more to the head there? Yeah. Puff a little bit in there. How about the feet? Go. Feet look pretty good, I think. Okay. Uh, you can add more right as you go along. Yes. Mm -hmm. If we find out we've got kind of a. Okay. A, Okay, it's stuffed in. Okay, now what you're going to do, we're going to pick, this is a, a needle, felting needle. Okay. And it's, if you touch it real lightly, you can feel the little barbs on it. Oh. What that's going to do is going to take, grab hold of those fibers and push them down together until they grab hold of each other and form a felted pad. So this big poofy mass that we have here is going to condense. Ooh. Now it's very, very sharp on the end, so keep your, watch where these fingers are. <laughs> if you're right-handed, take that, push very gently, try not to hit the metal part. That's it. It has to hit the... There you go. Ooh. Okay, is it, can you see it already grabbing yes, and shrinking already, down just a little bit? Okay. These little heads. Mm-hmm. This isn't hard. <laughs> this is, no, this is alpaca felting 101. You can felt with wool, you can felt with any kind of fiber, really, um, but alpaca gives you not, such a nice, soft yes. product. Plus, you know the creature that it is. Oh, I know. This is azalea right yeah, here. Yeah, this is azalea. There you go. This is so cool. The biggest thing is that you need to get around the edge, just like you're doing there. Don't be afraid to go over and over and over again until it lays down pretty flat. And watch your fingers, yes. because that really hurts. Yeah, I imagine, especially if you got it in, you have to pull it out that way. Oh, no. oh, you can never get it in very far, because you, you yank it out pretty quick. <laughs> but it is barbed on the end. You can rotate your little panels around if, if you're getting um, to an awkward spot that you really can't reach. Now, this is something I truly, truly can do. Mm -hmm. But alpaca comes in 22 natural colors. You can dye the lighter colors. So, so let's say you wanted to make um, your ornament right. in a, two tones. Maybe you have, say you have a, a black animal with white feet. Mm -hmm. you, you pull your black fiber out and then you add your white wherever you want to. Oh, yeah. Or a white star on the nose or one thing or another. You can get pretty ornate, as ornate or not as you like. And then we'll add a little piece of yarn over the top of it and felt it into it, and that will become your hanger. Oh, yeah. Okay. I would love to figure out how to make uh, possum ornaments because my shop in Brasstown is the home of the possum drop. Oh, how cute! And what a cool thing to sell in the shop is to. Yes. Um, it would be little possums. Well, it would really be awesome if you could find a possum cookie cutter. Yeah, I think we'd have to bend that one. <laughs> you <laughs> might have to make your own. That yeah. would be really cute though. I mean, how precious. I'll, I'll be there to buy one of those. Okay. <laughs> I'll supply some of the yarn for oh, you, or the, the fiber for you. If a person wants to do this, and it is fun, I mean, I, I like this, um, where, where do you buy your, your uh, fleece, fur, hair? Uh, a pack of fiber. Fiber, mm -hmm. there you go. Well, at shearing time, you can, some, some folks will come over and actually say, oh, I want some from this girl, I want some from that one. Oh, I love that color, I've got to have some of that. Or they'll come over and get loved on by one of the animals. Yes. Say, uh -huh. say, I've got to have some of her fiber. We sell it raw. Um, we've got a carding machine where people can card their own if they want. Or we sell it 
already I carded, carded. Mm -hmm. in a bag. In a bag. Mm -hmm. I, I first met you at a craft show. Was, yes. Were you selling yes. bags? Mm -hmm. so I, I looked at your, actually I was looking at your ornaments. That's yes. what I was looking at. Yeah, well, here's a finished oh. one. It's so oh. cute. I heard you had a new member to the family. Yes, this is Cato. It's a um, baby alpaca, which is called a Korea. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just 40, 40 hours old? That yes, that's correct. Oh, wow. Well, Cato wants to get down. That's okay. We won't keep his mom is crying. So thank Let you. Let me show you real quick in okay. place here. You see? Oh, look. Mm -hmm. How soft the baby it place is. is. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, it has a white spot there, too. Mm -hmm. That'll blend in really nice. Mm -hmm. It's soft already. Aww. Very you have so to keep a blanket on it because they're so. She's just a baby. Yeah, it's cold. There you go, baby. Oh, look at that. Look at the little tail <laughs> wagon. <laughs> Bye, Kato. Bye. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Did you hear Mama clucking? Going, come on. Aww, thank you, Katie. That's yeah. Odessa's mother, the eyelash queen. Oh, Can you yeah. see the resemblance? Yes. Yeah. It's okay, we didn't hurt. Aww. A cool crafting trick I found, and it's totally green, is um, using old bottle caps. I throw nothing away. All my friends can attest to this. I have a house full of everything. But I use some of it, so it's not that bad. Um, for this, when I use paint, um, and I don't, want to, I don't have a palette, I use uh, a bottle cap. You just pour your paint into the cap, and there you go. Just put your paintbrush in. When you're done, you can throw it away or wait until it dries and then peel it out use it again. Also, you can put glue in it. My favorite one is the orange juice uh, containers. It has a ridge on the inside, so when you rinse your uh, paintbrush, it has a ridge that you can, can knock it against. Also, old coffee can, any uh, plastic that's flat that you can lay down. Now, this is not cut out really nice, but I was in a hurry. I was making some coasters, and I needed a walkie-looking pine tree, so I just cut it out of an old coffee can lid. You lay it down on your project, stencil it. You got the, the, this stencil forever if you want to keep the walkie-looking one. Just telling you, don't waste a thing. Use it all.